Welcome to the second experiment of separately excited DC motor. In this experiment, we are going to see the load characteristics of separately excited DC motor, efficiency characteristics of separately excited DC motor. To observe the speed control, we are going to observe the speed control of the separately excited DC motor by armature voltage control method. The apparatus required is specified here which you can see it here and this is a mobile workstation where we are going to do the experiment and here the first module what we are having here is power supply we are having a provision for both AC and DC power supply variable and constant then we have a DC motor of rating 175 watts 800 revolutions per minute 120 volts 2.8 amperes then we have load as a load we are having prime over dynamo meter it can be used as a prime over it can be used as a dynamo meter in this experiment we are using this as a dynamo meter okay to mark the work this as a dynamo meter we are using this in dynamo position this switch should be in this position towards dynamo d by n in dynamo meter mode next coming to the first part machine inspection in machine inspection we need to write the rated voltage rated current rated field current rated speed and rated output power of the dc machine which we are using this is the module there is a dc motor or generator it can this is the dc machine where it can be used as a dc motor as well as generator this terminals one and two are the terminals of the armature terminals of the series field winding terminals of the shunt field winding shunt field winding can be used as a separate field winding now what we want we want the rated voltage for what for motor for machine rating we are having two ratings it may the machine can be used as motor as well as generator but as we are going for a motor operation we need to check this rating the motor ratings are rated load voltage 120 volts rated load current 2.8 amperes rated field current shunt field winding we are using it as an we are using this field winding as an separately excited field winding 0.4 amperes rated field current is 0.4 amperes then we have rated speed rated speed is 1800 rpm and rated power output is 175 watts which we have specified it here this completes your inspection of the machine machine inspection this is the first part of the second experiment in electrical testing 3 coming to the second part of the second experiment in the characteristics of separately excited dc motor we are going to do we are going to study the load characteristics of the separately excited DC motor for which we need to connect the circuit like this this is the armature winding this is the armature winding and this is the field winding to control the field current we are having a field rheostat which will be connected in series to which we are getting an we are giving an constant power supply and to vary the supply voltage we are using an variable power supply 0 to 120 volts with terminal 7 and n to measure the current we are having a, we are having an ammeter connected to the armature of the winding armature of the machine and we will be connecting an voltmeter we will be connecting an voltmeter to measure the voltage across the armature and we are having a dynamometer to which we are giving a power supply of 24 volts 3 amperes supply now to give the connections to start with let us take a cable from 7 this is a separately excited machine I am giving it to 5 amperes of the DC ammeter from there negative let us connect it to the armature winding 1 again return from the armature winding 2 has to be connected to the has to be connected to the neutral and again we need to connect an voltmeter across the armature to connect the voltmeter we are having in the circuit voltmeter across the armature so from 200 volts 
we are connecting voltmeters across the armature and then from negative of the voltmeter connect it to the two with this we have finished these connections armature connections now we need to go for field connections coming to the field connections from a8 connect it to let me take a small cables from a8 connect it to 5 and then from 6 connect it to the field your stat return of the field your stat connect it to the negative terminal of the power supply with this both armature connections and field connections are completed sorry in between we need to connect an ammeter we have missed that it means to connect it to the ammeter so what we can do from 8 from 8 connect it to the 500 milliamperes return of the 500 of milliamperes connect it to the 5 this is completed now okay with this we have completed the connections of armature winding and the field winding now let us go for the prime over uh, dynamometer connection for which we are have connected 24 volts power supply to this part. now before starting it you need to set the initial conditions what is this initial conditions this load should be zero this should be at minimum position such that maximum excitation will be there and then you need to switch it on to switch it on press this and then we are going to switch this on switching on apply the voltage of 120 volts i am varying this knob and changing the voltage to 150 volts the machine starts running okay the machine is running check the voltage set the voltage to 120 now the voltage is 120 now after setting the voltage to 120 check the rotation it is in clockwise direction so nothing no need to change the field connection it is in clockwise direction adjust the field you are starting 1800 check the speed now it is 1275 set it to 1800 using this knob set the speed to 1800 It is 1800 now. Almost the speed is 1800. Now, can we reduce some more? Yeah. After getting 1800, now do we should not change the field current. Keep this constant. We should not touch this now. We are not going to touch this. Check the value. It is 200 milliamperes. You can write it as 200 milliamperes. The field current value is. 200 milliamperes. Okay, we are writing it as 200 milliamperes. Next, after this, now check the torque. Torque is zero. Speed is 1800. And what about the current? 0 0.6. Current is 0. Point, slightly less than this. 0. 0.6. So write that value. Okay. Next, change the torque to 0 0.3. Change the torque. Torque is 0 now. Change it to 0 0.3.
zero point three. Check the speed. Sixteen seventy five. Write the speed. Torque zero point three. Speed is sixteen seventy five. And here the current value is one point two. Current value nearly one point two. Enter the current value one point two. Now change the torque to zero point six. Torque. Now the torque is zero point six. Check the speed. Fifteen eighty four. How about the current? One point slightly greater than six. So one point six five. Slightly greater than one point six. Speed fifteen eighty five. And then the current value is and the torque is zero point. Current value one point six. Now change the torque to zero point nine. Now the torque is zero point nine. Check the speed. Fourteen ninety five seven or ninety eight. Current two point two. Slightly greater than two point two. Right two point two or two point two five. Speed is fifteen hundred. Here we got fifteen thirty. No problem. Slight change variation will be there. And then change the torque to 1.2. After changing the tor torque to 1.2, check the speed 1426. Write the value 1426 here, and how about the current? Greater than 2. Nearer to nearer to 3 and less than 3. 2.95. You can write it as 2.95. Then we need to draw the torque speed characteristics. After seeing this, we need to draw torque speed characteristics. On x-axis, take the torque. X-axis, take the torque, and here speed. With this, we have finished first part. Sorry, second part of the. second experiment in electrical testing 3